During Tuesday night's debate, President Donald Trump urged supporters to watch the polls to make sure the election is done by the book. Kentucky's governor says it's illegal to just walk in and watch other vo others vote. Evening Edition's political reporter Carolina Buchek spoke with an expert to find out what's legal and what's not as we help get you ready to vote in 2020. While millions were watching the first presidential debate, President Donald Trump said something that made election experts feel uneasy. I'm urging my supporters to go into the polls and watch very carefully because that's what has to happen. I am urging them to do it. But election experts say depending on how this is done, it could be illegal. Because it sounded like the president was encouraging people to break the law. University of Kentucky law professor Joshua Douglas says poll watchers, poll observers, or challengers are a real thing. However, there are laws and rules to follow to become one. You can't just walk into a polling location and watch others cast their ballots. Anyone just can't go in and become a poll watcher. Uh, most state laws say that you can only be inside the polls if you are an election worker or if you're there to vote yourself uh, or if you're one of the designated uh, poll watchers that's approved ahead of time. Governor Andy Bashir confirmed that the public can't just walk in and watch people vote. There will be no general public going into polling stations to watch other people vote. That is not legal in Kentucky. Kentucky state law makes it clear what is and is not allowed. Each political party can have up to two challengers at each precinct who live in that county, but they need to let the county clerks know who the designated challengers are at least 20 days before a regular election. And the challengers must show written proof if an elections officer asks for it. Legally, these approved watchers are allowed to challenge the eligibility of a voter for these reasons. They believe the voter is not registered in that precinct. They believe the voter does not live in that precinct. They believe the voter is a felon who hasn't had their voting rights restored, or they believe the person isn't who they say they are. But if the watcher wants to challenge a person's right to vote, they can only let the election officers know. They are not allowed to intimidate or harass the voter. They can't intervene. Uh, they can't say anything to the voter. Uh, you know, you could say something to the election official calmly that you think something is amiss, um, but uh, you know, you can't, uh, you can't intervene. You can't really do anything. The law also doesn't allow watchers to electioneer or campaign, handle official election materials, or disrupt. So will there be people watching the polls? Yes, but only the legally allowed ones. In Lexington, Carolina Buchak, Evening Edition.